Hey there! Welcome to our video for Advanced Pharmacology. I am Marissa and my group members, Michelle, Charlene, and Yenru. The topic of our video today is on the medication used in a disease very common in our society, Alzheimer's. Let us find out a little bit more about what Alzheimer's really is. Alzheimer's disease is an irreversible, progressive brain disorder that slowly destroys memory and thinking skills. Eventually, people suffering from Alzheimer's will lose the ability to carry out the simplest of tasks, such as driving a car, or cooking a meal, or paying bills. Majority of the time, late-onset symptoms appear in patients in their mid-60s, and risks for Alzheimer's are increased with age. Alzheimer's is also the most common cause of dementia among older adults. Fun fact, Alzheimer's is named after Dr. Alois Alzheimer, who in 1906 noticed changes in brain tissue of a woman who had died of an unusual mental illness. A common cause of Alzheimer's is due to an abnormal buildup of proteins in and around the brain cells. There is also a decrease in neurotransmitters, especially acetylcholine. Symptoms of Alzheimer's include a decline in aspects of thinking, such as finding the right words, vision and spatial issues, as well as impaired reasoning or judgment. Unfortunately, there is no cure for this devastating disease, which leads us to treatment options involving medication. The most common medication taken to treat Alzheimer's is known as Donepezil. It is marketed under the brand name Arcep and is taken once a day as a pill. Donepezil is classified under the class of medications called cholinesterase inhibitors and is applicable to all stages of Alzheimer's. It helps prevent the breakdown of acetylcholine neurotransmitters. However, Donepezil along with other medications are not able to prevent and reverse the damage caused by Alzheimer's to the brain cells. They only help lessen and stabilize the symptoms by affecting the neurotransmitters of the brain cells. In addition, Donepezil is not approved for mild cognitive impairment, which involves subtle change in memories and thinking that occurs as a transitional stage between normal age-related memory change and Alzheimer's disease. The effectiveness and side effects of Donepezil varies from person to person. How does donepezil work in the body? It is a potent, selective, non-competitive, and rapidly reversible inhibitor of acetylcholinesterase enzyme. It basically works by inhibiting the enzyme, which breaks down acetylcholine, by binding to hydrophobic sites while leaving the enzyme intact. Therefore, the main pharmacological action of the drug are a result of this enzyme inhibition. It enhances cholinergic transmission therefore relieving the symptoms of Alzheimer's dementia. In addition, other mechanisms of donepezil include the opposition of glutamate-induced excitatory transmission via the downregulation of NMDA receptors and the regulation of amyloid proteins as well. Donepezil also works to target inhibition of various inflammatory signaling pathways and exerting neuroprotective effects. The picture on the left is the structure of a donepezil molecule, and the picture on the right shows the mechanism of action. As mentioned, donepezil binds reversibly to acetylcholinesterase enzyme and inhibits the hydrolysis of acetylcholine, thus increasing the availability of acetylcholine at the synapses. The level and duration of action of acetylcholine is increased as well. Now we are going to discuss the pharmacokinetics of donepezil. Studies have shown that during absorption, the peak plasma concentration of sustained release donepezil with higher dose is longer as compared to immediate release donepezil with lower dose. The absolute bioavailability of donepezil is unknown, but it is assumed to be well absorbed. Tissue distribution of donepezil is extensive, as evidenced by a high apparent volume of distribution of 12 to 16 liters per kilogram. As for metabolism and excretion, donepezil is metabolized by CYP450 isoenzymes 2D6 and 3A4 and undergoes glucuronidation. The elimination half-life of donepezil is about 70 hours and the mean apparent plasma clearance is 0.13 to 0.19 liters per hour per kilogram. 
In the pharmacokinetics of multiple dose donopezil, following multiple dose administration, donopezil accumulates in plasma by 4 to 7 folds and steady state is attained after 15 days of once daily dosing. Donopezil presents a linear and dose proportional pharmacokinetics. Studies have shown that in patients, the steady state exposure of donopezil was about 35% higher in patients than that in healthy subjects. This difference may be largely due to the effect of age on apparent clearance of donopezil. Population pharmacokinetics analysis revealed that clearance of donopezil decreases when age increases. There are several side effects after taking a donopezil, which distribute into a category of mild and severe. The symptoms that will commonly occur when the body is adjusting to a drug such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, overall weakness, or muscle cramp. However, if there are occurrence of serious side effects such as low heart beat, severe stomach pain, bloody vomit, do make a call or visit the doctor right away. For instance, a very severe allergic reaction is rare, but there is still a possibility. The allergic reaction including rush, itching, serious dizziness, and trouble breathing. Furthermore, donopezil can cause bradycardia, heart block, and syncope. Aside from donopezil, other alternative drugs that can be used to treat Alzheimer's disease which are also cholinesterase inhibitors are galantamine and rivastigmine. Another alternative drug which also can be used to treat severe Alzheimer's but is not a cholinesterase inhibitor is mementine, and this drug is sometimes used together with donopezil. We have arrived at the end of this video. To wrap this video up, here's a fun fact. Did you know? Aricept has been proven to enhance cognition and maintain patient function with consistent statistically significant efficacy observed in clinical trials of patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. In one study, of 286 Alzheimer's disease patients and their caregivers, caregivers of Aricept treated patients reported spending less time on average per day, which was 9.9 .9 hours per day providing care than caregivers of placebo treated patients, which was 11 hours per day.